Adhered System Design A. A fully adhered roof system is ideal for any roof slope design, as there are no slope restrictions. Fully adhered EPDM is lightweight and able to meet irregular roof configurations on a variety of decks. Fully adhered systems can also offer building owners benefits such as increased wind uplifts, increased durability and puncture resistance, and increased warranties. When Carlisle SureWhite EPDM membrane is used, building owners are also able to meet the cool roof requirements for LEED, Energy Star, and CRRC. A fully adhered roofing system requires mechanical or adhesive attachment of an approved substrate to the roof deck structure. EPDM membrane is then adhered to the substrate using Carlisle bonding adhesive. This system can use Carlisle SureSeal, SureTough Reinforced, or SureWhite EPDM membranes. An adhered system can be installed on buildings up to 250 feet in height. Installations over 250 feet require Carlisle approval. Carlisle roofing systems are available with a standard 55 mile per hour wind speed warranty. The adhered system has an optional increased wind speed warranty up to 120 miles per hour. When using 90 mil thick SureSeal EPDM, a 30 year warranty is available. Hail and puncture warranties are also available with this membrane at no additional charge. Accidental puncture warranties are also available for all shore tough membranes. Adhered systems offer a wide variety of possible substrates to meet any specifications that may arise. Insulation is affixed to the roof deck structure by using a Carlisle approved insulation adhesive, such as FAST, or by using Carlisle fasteners. When fastening the insulation, follow the appropriate Carlisle specification. Only install the amount of insulation that can be covered by membrane in the same day. Remove any debris from the roof deck. Place the insulation on the deck. It is a good practice to stagger the joints of the insulation. By doing this, the amount of thermal loss between the insulation boards is reduced. Insulation must be butted together with no gaps greater than a quarter inch. Follow the Carlisle approved insulation fastening pattern. The typical pattern is one fastener for every two square feet which we will demonstrate. Using plates and fasteners, place them so that they form a diamond pattern in a 12 inch by 24 inch layout. The insulation plates and fasteners should be located six inches from the edges of the insulation. Install the plates and fasteners using a screw gun. Ensure that the plate is tight to the insulation without overdriving the fastener. Continue this procedure until all insulation is fastened on the roof deck. After the insulation is installed, use the following procedures to install Carlisle's EPDM membrane. Remove any debris from the insulation. Position the membrane over the substrate without stretching. When completing a 3 inch seam between the membrane sheets, overlap the sheets a minimum of 4 inches to achieve sufficient area to complete the 3 inch wide splice. Allow the membrane to relax for 30 minutes prior to bonding. Fold the sheet back so that half of the underside is exposed. After mixing the bonding adhesive thoroughly, apply it evenly without globs or puddles with a 9 inch wide plastic core medium nap paint roller. Apply the bonding adhesive to both the sheet and the substrate at the appropriate coverage rate. Allow the adhesive to dry until it is tacky but will not string to a dry finger touch. Flutter the sheet and roll the coated membrane into the coated surface while avoiding wrinkles. Broom the bonded half of the sheet immediately after rolling the sheet into the adhesive with a soft bristle push broom. Fold back the unbonded half of the sheet and repeat the bonding adhesive application. Allow the adhesive to dry until it is tacky but will not string to a dry finger touch. Flutter the sheet and roll the mating surfaces together. After installing the bonded membrane, use a broom to ensure 100% adhesion.